Hi, and welcome to this presentation on genes and alleles. Genes and alleles may be mistakenly be used to refer to the same thing. However, they are not synonymous. Let's explore why. Genes are regions of DNA that withhold information on how to make proteins. They are the fundamental unit of heredity and determine traits and characteristics of humans, animals, microorganisms, and etc. Each person normally has two copies of each gene, one given to them by their mother and the other given to them by their father. Each copy or variant of the gene is referred to as an allele. These alleles may either be identical, in which case they are referred to as homozygous, or they are different, in which case they are referred to as heterozygous. Let's consider this analogy. Here are two genetic students, and together they represent a homologous pair of chromosomes. Each chromosome, or each student, has a gene for shoes, but they have a different variation for that same gene. Here we see that one student might have a sneakers allele for the shoe gene, while the other has a boots allele for the shoe gene. Hence, they are heterozygous for the shoe gene. Therefore, alleles are the variant forms of the same gene. Alleles can either be dominant or recessive. Let's explore this notion of dominant and recessive alleles in the context of hair color. A certain gene encodes for hair color. What the hair color is, is defined by the variant of the gene, the allele, present, and whether that allele is dominant or recessive. Let black represent the dominant allele and pink represent the recessive allele. Dominant alleles are represented with a capital letter, while recessive are represented with a lowercase letter. Dark hair color is dominant. Dominant alleles are always expressed if they are present, despite whether they are found in both gene loci or just one. On the other hand, light hair color is recessive. Recessive alleles are only expressed when both of the gene loci are recessive. Now let's consider a study that relates to genes and alleles. Early in the development of a female embryo, a random X chromosome in each cell becomes inactivated. As a result, only the gene carried on the active X chromosome is expressed. Consider this, female calico cats with both black genes on the X chromosome are black, and those with both orange are orange. But if the cat has one black and one orange gene, then the cat will have patches of both colors. In 1961, Mary Leon explained the spotted appearance of the female heterozygous mice as a result of X inactivation. Like calico cats, these mice carry different alleles of the same gene, which cause them to show the spotted phenotype. 